Vocabulary 8 Hi, I'm Sonia Berger and you are watching the Best My Test TOEFL Vocabulary video series. Today we're going to focus on relationships between living organisms, on metabolism and on anatomy. And the stars of our show will be a lucerne munching bull, um, a colony of bees and a beautiful hummingbird. In fact, I think we'll call this video The Bull, the Bee and the Hummingbird. Here goes. Our first word is symbiosis. Now in the past I've taught you that it's easier to remember the meaning of a word if you break it up into its prefixes and roots. So the prefix sim means together and bio means life. Symbiosis is therefore living together. It's a relationship, an interaction between two living organisms in close physical association with each other. And we use the adjective symbiotic to refer to this relationship. Our first example is the bee. There is a symbiotic relationship between bees and the plants they pollinate. Flowers produce pollen, which serves as food for bees, and bees symbiotically pollinate flowers when they move pollen grains from flower to flower. There are several different forms of symbiosis, but we will only look at two of them. The first one is mutualism. Mutualism is a relationship in which two organisms from different species live together, they rely on each other, and they both benefit. In other words, the benefit is mutual. Here is an example, and our example is a bull and its guts. Here goes. Cattle and the bacteria in their intestines have a mutualistic relationship that benefits both organisms. The bacteria produce enzymes that break down grass and make nutrients available to the cattle. The cattle's intestines, on the other hand, provide a nutrient-rich home for the bacteria. The second example of symbiosis that we'll look at is parasitism. Here too, we have two organisms from different species living together. But this is not such a great relationship because only one party benefits. The one living organism, living with the other one, exploits that other organism. It feeds off it. And we talk about parasitic behavior when the living organism exploits the other one. And an organism that displays this behavior is called a parasite. Once again, the bee features in the sample sentence. But, along with it, there's a terrible parasite. Here's the sample sentence. The Varroa destructor mite is a parasitic bee mite that attacks honeybees. The parasites can destroy entire bee colonies. Our next biological relationship is altruism. Altruism describes the behaviour of an animal that benefits another animal at its own expense. It sounds crazy, but it happens in nature. Here is a sample sentence using bees. Altruism is an important feature of bee colonies. Altruistic worker bees spend all their time and energy caring for the queen and the larvae without ever receiving the chance to reproduce themselves. Now let's move away from the relationships between living organisms and look at processes inside those organisms. Our word is metabolism. Metabolism refers to the physical and chemical processes that take place inside the bodies of living organisms to sustain life, to sustain life processes. And the adjective we use to refer to these processes is metabolic. Now, I'm going to talk about metabolic rate in the sample sentence. And metabolic rate refers to the rate at which a living organism's body burns energy. Here are the sentences. 
Hummingbirds are the animals with the highest metabolic rate in the world. Hummingbirds can consume volumes of nectar between half to eight times their body weight in one day. Our last two words are anatomy and anatomical. Anatomy is a noun and we use it to refer to the bodily structures of a living organism. And anatomical is an adjective that we use to refer to these structures. Here are our sample sentences from the world of the hummingbird. The anatomy of a hummingbird's wings enables it to fly up, down, backwards and even upside down. The anatomical structure of hummingbird wings allows the birds to move their wings in a circle. This anatomical feature gives hummingbirds incredible maneuverability in the air. And that's all for today. If you want to learn more about TOEFL vocabularies or TOEFL practices, go to the Best My Test website. Here is the address www.bestmytest.com. Goodbye.